mean it's so easy you can just hang the back out of it and this is not a problem <laughs> <laughs> right folks, so welcome back to another video. We're doing some more M140i content. As you can see, the RS3 sitting there as well with its new Group B livery. If you don't know what's going on here, just go and check out the previous video. Yeah, definitely does look like we're back in the 80s with a modern twist. But yeah, we're going to be getting the draggy out again today. As you've seen in a few of the previous videos, we've bought it out for some 100 to 200 runs. But yeah, we're going to be testing out the launch on it. The weather's nice. Looks like the sun's just come out over there as well. The car, of course, now has a wave track LSD, so it should help with a bit of traction. It has got MSS springs as well, which I have noticed have improved the sort of feeling under acceleration. The only kind of weak link is these Pilot Super Sports factory tire for the car. It's a 24535. They're not completely worn, but as you saw in some of the previous videos, they are a bit more than they were at the start. If you've been following the progress you'll know it's a stage one car the hardware is pretty much stock in terms of the engine the only kind of main mod is the eventuary intake i'll open the bonnet in a second but yeah the estimates we have had in a dyno in tuned form but it should be around 420 to 440 horsepower that's what some of the previous cars dynoed out with the same software we will get on the dyno soon but as you know evolves dyno is currently in progress let's turn it on now all right red starter button not bad, B58. We'll get the bonnet open as well. Two pulls on that. I have noticed with these, they do like to drink a lot of fuel. Every time I get in this thing, it all seems to need more. It's to be expected, I suppose, having a six cylinder engine and a hatchback like this, but it's definitely worth the fuel. Now, speaking of the car needing to drink a lot, I'd like to thank Y Food for sponsoring today's video. Essentially what this is, is like a meal replacement in a bottle. They um, got in contact a few weeks ago and um, I thought I'd give it a try. This is their taster box, comes with a variety of flavors and it keeps you full for up to five hours. Now, as you know, on this channel, I only tend to do a handful of promos. This particular thing is probably the most useful one as the box is getting moved off the engine bay here. I'll be honest, all of this is empty now because I've tried it all. I'd say my favorite flavor is definitely this cold brew coffee though, because it has 100 milligrams of caffeine as well to give you that extra boost. They have given me a code as well, which is Hamza10. The link to the um, website will be in the description as well. Make sure you check them out. I've noticed in the last few weeks when I've sort of been in between meals and kind of on the road just doing stuff on this car. These have definitely come in handy. I was drinking one on the way to Evolve the other day. But yeah, what we'll do, we'll get this put in the car. It is empty to be fair. If you can send me another one, it will be nice. And yeah, let's get some draggies on the M140i. Right folks, I'm in the 140i. I've got in Sport Plus. We're not going to use launch control. I'm just going to boot it. If it does come up, I'll do it. But I'm not really too fast because I find that launch control on a rear wheel drive car usually is pointless. Well, on the BMWs that I've tried anyway. Uh, Sport Plus essentially puts traction half off. So we'll have a bit of slip. Of course, the Michelin Pilot Super Sports aren't the greatest. But I've already said that a few times. Tire temperatures looks like they're around 18 degrees on the back left and 19 on the back right so should be half decent bmw do claim that these things do a high four mid to high four sort of not 60 run and that's in 62 miles an hour to be fair but yeah we'll see what i can do anyway we'll just have a bit of fun today make sure you are subscribed as well if you do enjoy this m140i content we are going to be going stage two tomorrow i believe so depending on when that video goes up probably towards the end of the week all right so here we go that's a pretty terrible one to begin with 5.3 to be fair it did spin all its power away <laughs> at least the tires are warming up oh. <laughs> In between the runs, we're of course gonna have a bit of fun. I mean, this is not even sure, man. Like... Trying to rotate on a country road. Try and keep it civil. Right, looks like I got a decent stretch here. There's no one else coming. Alright. spin but it did get going 4.95 on a 0 0.2 slope so pretty nice slope to be fair you know what even though the fact that it's quite close to five seconds it was just fun <laughs> even when you're just cruising it just makes so much noise this thing what's 
the temperatures are like. <laughs> you guys asked for a POV drive, there you go. Bentley going past. To be fair, this is a uh, good place to do a 0 to 60. Hopefully, we ain't got too much. All right, for on the brake. Okay, we've got to be a mod on the tyres. Let this ML go. Sod it. Too many cars coming down here, man. Give it a go again after this. I think I've got cow dung on my tires, folks. I just realized what I've done here because my car really smells now. Right, I'm gonna do this in manual sport plus. Bit of four on the brake. Four point seven five down by saying it's downhill, it doesn't look downhill to me. Do it again. I think we've definitely got cow dung. These are cow dung, not 60s. Yeah, there you go. 4.74 verified. To be fair, it's already worse than what we did before. Half a second worse, so it's not really a problem. This is the POV drive segment, isn't it, folks? <laughs> oh dearie me dearie dearie me so talky this thing is right folks so annoyingly i just did quite a good note 60 run i've got the draggy screenshot is on there now i did a 4.48 to 60 but unfortunately the gopro decided to just stop recording yeah, this is the sort of stuff you kind of encounter when you're making YouTube videos. So if you want to make YouTube videos, yeah, just be aware that you might record a whole seven, eight minute segment and it's not recording. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good slope. I might give it another go just to show it. I think for sure next we do need something on the uh, front axle in terms of making it a bit more darty. Right now it's a bit loose at the front. The rear is lovely. I look feel like M4 control arms, I believe, do a very good job of improving the feel. So we're going to do those and of course the Bilstein B8 dampers which I do believe we have on order so I just need to check when they're going to arrive and then it's like pff, bait like I said it'll be hard to sell this car whenever I'm done I know I bought it purely as a project but I have truly like fell for it I'm not going to lie it's a little beast I mean the rear is a lot more predictable with the wave track but the rest of the car still uh, for me anyway I've just got to do a bit more still. Alright, oh, he's going left. See what I mean? It's so easy. You can just hang the back out of it and this is not a problem. <laughs> Alright, folks, let's go for it. Hopefully, camera doesn't overheat. quick <laughs> right folks so that was a 4.28 to 60 so pretty impressive even better than the runs i got when the camera wasn't recording hopefully it is recording at this point <laughs> but yeah the front camera's died as well before this video turns into a bit of a mess i'll end it here on 4.28 seconds i'm pretty happy with that Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe for a lot more content to come. We're going stage two next video. It'll be in a few days time anyway. But yeah, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one.